Welcome to In The Zone on Full Court Press. Week 12 of In The Zone. This week of In The Zone, we're taking it all the way to the Big Apple, to the mecca of basketball where the atmosphere is like no other. The city of New York hasn't seen a score like this in their city since Carmelo Anthony. Yep, that's right. We're talking about the, the guy that's undersized, the guy that was overpaid, the guy that's not a 1A. Jalen Brunson. This week, Jalen Brunson proving the haters wrong like he's been doing ever since he got to New York. Uh, there's been a stigma around his name since he put pen to paper with that contract. It's called overpaid, called undersized. Now he's being called not good enough to be a 1A and New York is clearly showing that he might just be that guy. But this week, Brunson went 3-0. and The Knicks went 3-1. and In that one game they lost, Brunson was injured. But his stats, he put up 36.3 points per game, 8 assists, and 5.3 rebounds per game. And he's a short guy, so 5 rebounds is pretty good for him. He shot 53.5% from the field and 45.8% from 3. So he's just cooking from everywhere. Like, we know Jalen Brunson, and he loves his midi, and he's clearly being efficient from there as usual. But he's also cooking from beyond the arc, like, I remember seeing earlier this week, his, he's one of the best pull-up three-point shooters in the entire league, and his three has just been automatic. He's, I'm pretty sure he might be shooting better th from three than Steph Curry this season. Like, it's <laughs> crazy. I mean, Jalen Brunson is leading the Knicks. They're the third seed currently, and I think OG Ananobi really helped out Jalen Brunson he because has. it takes the pressure off of him uh, on the defensive end of the court because now you got OG, you got a bunch of hustle players, and now Jalen Brunson can focus on getting Getting the ball in the basket. And that's what he does best. That's why he's leading the Knicks in scoring. He's leading them to top seed in the East. The Knicks are finally looking like they can do something in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. They made the second round last year, and now they're hoping to either go to the finals or at least get to the conference finals and contend with some of the top teams in the East. So this week, the Knicks played Orlando without Brunson, and they lost by four points. So they clearly needed him. If they were actually going to win that game with him there, it probably would have been a quite the easy win. Um, and then they played Houston, Washington, and the Toronto Raptors. So Brunson faced off against his former teammates, R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel, quickly. And boy, did that man put on a performance. So against the Wizards, it was a four-point game, which is surprisingly close considering how bad the Wizards are. Yeah. But Jalen Brunson was the reason they won that game. Without him, they're not going to win that game. And then they had a 15-point win against the Rockets and a... Big, I said big 26-point win against the Toronto Raptors. He was absolutely cooking this week. He has his fourth, not his third, not his second, his fourth 40-point game of this season. And he did it against the Washington Wizards, which is why they needed every single point in that game for a four-point win. So he was coming up in the fourth quarter absolutely clutch, hitting bucket after bucket. In fact, um, this week alone, he uh, is leading the league in fourth quarter points with 13 points in the fourth quarter. And he's doing this on 60% from the field. Pretty, pretty crazy if you think about it. Leading the league and being extremely efficient when his team needs him most. I mean, big time players make big time plays. And Jalen Brunson, whenever the Knicks need a clutch bucket, Jalen Brunson is the guy that's going to hit it. Mm -hmm. He's either going to dribble around and go to his little midi, little fading midi. Or just going to pull up from the right side of the court and hit a three in someone's face. Jalen Brunson is a Tibbs guy, to be honest, yeah. in my opinion. Someone that's going to give it his all on the court. Some people might not consider him an all-star. I think. Oh, I think he's guaranteed. As, I think season. he sh he should have been a starter. Oh, for sure. New York, where are y'all at, man? Y'all y'all got to stand up for your boy. I thought you were a big market team. You should have made him a starter. You got Dame Dalla starting over him, and you torched him when they played against the Bucks. But Jalen Brunson is the heart and soul of New York currently. And he's not a flashy guy. He's not going to talk a lot. But he's going to go out there and give you guys work. And honestly, he resembles New York in that instance. And he's got his boys with him from Villanova, Dante DiVincenzo and Josh Hart. I mean, the Knicks, they're looking, they're looking great. Yeah, and I mean, with how tight the East has been recently, uh, especially like between, I want to say, the sixth seed to the third seed, even the second seed now as the Bucks start falling. Yeah. Every win matters, and with the Knicks rolling and Jalen Brunson rolling, every single win just keeps adding up and pushing them farther and farther up the ranks. New York, you might have your guy. You might just have your guy.
he's been starting to play make a lot more uh, towards the start of the season. We were, I personally was noticing that the Knicks were struggling in the half court, especially with just running a lot of isos with Randall and Brunson. And uh, people were starting to question if Brunson could really be a true point guard or not because it seemed like he wasn't really finding his teammates or setting them up well. But the more the, more the season's gone on, the more we've seen him start to play make more and more. And uh, just like this week, he's had eight assists this week. Like he's, he's playmaking really well. It, clearly the fluidity is there in the offense now as why the Knicks have gone in their hot streak. I think it's like, what, 10, ga- 10 games out of their last 12 they won, something like that. Yeah, they've been on a heater. All I know is despite um, sometimes the lack of playmaking, most defenders do not want to be on ISO Island with Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson's game is very, he's very skilled. Like, he's not going to be an athletic guy. He's going to post you or take you to the hole every time. He'll drive, and he's going to do a couple pump fakes to get to his spot, pull up midi, splash. Mm -hmm. Or he'll just uh, one dribble rise up. Or he's just going to spot up from three and, and knock it down. Yeah. He's one of those guys where when teams go on a run, he's the one who's going to stop that run by hitting a big-time shot. And like Despite him being, I want to say, 6'1", maybe 6'2", like he definitely plays way bigger than his size. Yeah, he's not someone to make a lot of mistakes either. No, definitely not. That's where it comes to him being very skilled. He's very disciplined, and he knows what he wants to do when he has the ball. That's just the way he plays. He's a hard hustle and muscle guy. He's leading the Knicks to a top seed in the East. And that is exactly why he is your featured player on In The Zone Week 12. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to dunk on that like button. Comment down below what you think about Jalen Brunson's performance. And stay tuned to see who's on In The Zone next week. Till next time. Peace. He's 1A.